But amazingly, after I took a bottle, he took a bottle. I took a second one, he took a second one. I took a third, he took a third. I took a fourth, he took a fourth. When he was to land on the fifth one, I said, no, you will not be able to take the fifth bottle. Good day, friends. I am back because I need to tell you about something that occurred to me and you need to hear it. That some of us that think that we are enjoying life in the world, that we do not know that there was God or an invisible hand, we know. And I'm going to tell you the story of this, my friend. We met in the school. He was so passionate about me that when I go for all my escapades as the chief pan wine drinker, uh, 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 chief pan wine drinker, the, the chief care guide, this boy will write my notes and take them to my hostel. He was in the scripture union called popularly called SU. It was uh, from the middle belt. And we were so close that people thought, in part, that we are inseparable. And while we were running after women and so on and so forth, he was preaching all over the campus that people should come and serve his God. But we always laugh at him. However, after school, he was posted to Cross River State, Nigeria, while I was in Kaduna. It was while he was in Cross River State that he met some group of people. And uh, later on, he was telling me how they dashed him women, not to even talk of uh, alcohol. And SU suddenly changed. So he came to Kaduna after the service and he met me. I invited him to my house. After a good lunch, I was to serve him a bottle of uh, soft drinks. But he quickly refused it. He said, No, 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 no. It's that type that you are drinking that I want to drink. And that was a bottle of beer. And my wife was saying, No, 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 no please don't give it to him. Oh, I can't carry people here. But amazingly, after I took a bottle, he took a bottle. I took a second one, he took a second one. I took a third, he took a third. I took a fourth, he took a fourth. When he was to land on the fifth one, I said, no, you will not be able to take the fifth bottle. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a sad story because he has changed completely. And I knew it. In fact, he took a faster lane than me. While we were trying to reduce our own way of life, he was increasing his own to the extent that he, he caught hate. While we were walking, after I left the aviation, I was looking for work. It was the one that even made the way for me to join the bank, the first merchant bank in Nigeria. And we are together, but we don't go out together most of the time. And he ran into this group of ladies and he caught it. And that was the beginning of his downfall. Ladies and gentlemen, I knew that what he was doing was bad. And I was now the one telling him, say, why don't you leave people like us where we are? Why do you need to come and join us? Honestly, a few years after that, I left Kaduna and uh, left him in Kaduna. But as at that time, because of his way of life, his marriage had packed up. 
leaving the wife with her four children. In fact, the wife was infected with AIDS. So, because he's now alone, he also came to Abuja. And uh, I saw him. He even stayed in my house. Come and stay inside the main uh, 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 building. He chose to stay in my, in my boys' quarters. And I didn't understand. He was just coughing and coughing and coughing. Until one day, he said uh, uh, he wants to go and be living on his own. And he left. So I traveled and I came back. By the time I came back, I saw him again. He said, I thank God. God has forgiven me. And any time from now, I may be called home. When he said that, I did not really understand what he was saying. I said, call home to your home state or where. He said he might be called, called home any moment from now. And truly, 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 he was called home. Spared of uh, one year after we saw, I just heard that he died suddenly. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to tell you this story because I knew what, that what we were doing was not really the correct thing. But what of the person that was doing the correct thing and uh, now came and met us in that position? Think about it. I will tell you more in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, this story of Philip that you just heard is a sad one. The Bible is very clear that if we should sin willfully, after that we have known the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice. But a certain looking for of fearful judgment and indignation That could destroy the enemies of God. And it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Philip was a preacher. An instrument in the hands of God. But one year of youth service in Cross River State, he came back a different person altogether overtook Matthew. Matthew that we're talking that Matthew went too far. Philip overtook him. Matthew never caught AIDS. Philip caught AIDS. The AIDS took his life. Let this story be a warning to everyone who is listening to me. You are a child of God, but you are playing games with your life. You call yourself a Christian, but you go to bed with somebody who is not your wife or your husband, and it's your practice. You are living a very dangerous life. God showed Philip mercy. That's extraordinary mercy. God forgive him, but he died before his time. His classmate is still alive, he waxing stronger, but he's dead. Let us be careful how we live our lives. Any Christian who sins willfully, you are crucifying Jesus a second time. You won't get away with it. Let us learn, learn a lesson from the life of this young man who died long, 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 long before his time. Holiness, righteousness, purity of life. This is what God called you to. Fear him. Well, thank you for giving us your attention again today. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Send this video to your friends. Let it be a warning to the body of Christ and to anyone that may be thinking of living a loose life. Thank you and God bless you.